A mother's group is speaking out after three toddlers from the Birmingham area died in a little more than a week. Yeah, two of those cases have been ruled homicides, but the third is no less horrifying after a little boy died when he was left in a hot car. CBS 42 News reporter Lee Garner joins us now in the newsroom. And Lee, you spoke with the founder of the group, Mothers Who Want the Violence to Stop. Well, that's right, Sherry. Wanda Steven is the pastor at Jesus Real Ministry, and she's an advocate against gun violence. But she's got another very personal reason that the deaths of these toddlers hit so close to home. Father, her family, father, all those that's connected to Levi, father. A balloon release for Levi Elise Pointer. According to police, the toddler had a significant skull fracture after she was left with her mother's 19 year old boyfriend, Delonta Melton. He's been charged with her murder. That was on September 21st. Then Monday, Drake Hayden Hudson died after being left in a hot car at Miles College. Talia Alexander Burke died from blunt force trauma on Tuesday, and Wanda Steven had enough. It was enough to get her over to Tempest Drive to try and find Burke's mother. Three babies and got killed. Three. And when children like that get killed, it devastates me because I know because I lost my son some years ago. Stephen's son, George Powell Jr., was murdered 11 years ago. Well, His you know, case is still that. unsolved. He's not gonna, that's not going to bring him back. Me sitting down weeping. I miss my son truly every day of my life. But I know he wouldn't want me to get up and just sit down and weep and don't do anything about it. Instead, Stephen started Mothers Who Want the Violence to Stop. She hosts vigils and rallies and gives eulogies. She puts out signs and billboards for cold cases. And she unites mothers who are going through a pain she knows all too well. I will reach out to them. I will go where they are and talk to them. I do it all the time. Now, Stephen tells me that she wants to find each of the toddler's mothers because she would like to hold a vigil for their children. She's still trying to work out those details, but she says being able to help others helps her to heal. Live in the newsroom, Lee Garner, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.